Captain's Log Time has dragged on since the destruction of our civilization. At least it seems that way, but time for us is nearly meaningless. We are arriving at the location of the Ailes. It is coming into view. Matt it appears to be exactly what we were told, the USS Ailes. Everything matches. Okay Heather keep our guns trained on them just in case. This whole thing stinks. The Admiral, or whoever he is, is requesting to come aboard. Permission granted. Jake, grab a rifle and stay out of sight. Cover me. Everyone here is reminded that we are in a state of war. Well this is a great way to greet an Admiral. I presume you are Captain Stone? Admiral James, welcome aboard the Discovery. You must understand the precautions. We are in a state of war with an enemy we cannot understand. I will see if I can answer some of your questions. First, I am sure you want to know why we did not dissolve into history. I have been predicting such a thing was going to happen and I got my hands on enough blue omega to rig up shields, but they won't last long. Jake you can stand down. Go to the science station and verify that ship has temporal shields. As ranking officer I am assuming command of this vessel. Our destination is Mars station. Please don't take it personally. I am well aware of your record. You will make a fine officer once the earth has been restored. Does that include me? Hello, and you are. Oh I remember. My apologies. Hello Julie. Admiral your three crew members can come over here now. I reserve the right to conduct medical checks on them. If you will excuse me, I will bring them over. Jake, Julie you are with me at the table. Captain, he looks and sounds like my uncle but there is something odd about him. He seemed distant. Jake has a report. Captain I am not really sure. Their energy signatures are slightly off the norm. Okay well let's welcome our new guests. We need to find answers. I don't think they mean us any harm but something is not as it seems. What are you thinking about Matt? Do you think the ship is a fake? Do you think they are fake? Possibly, I don't know. There is just something wrong here. There is some kind of a trick here and I am determined to find out what. Heather I need you and Missy to go over and take a look at that ship. Take weapons and keep them inconspicuous. I have already been given permission. Okay will do. Why us two? Don't you want a couple of boys to do this? No you are better at dealing with people. I am going by the idea that these people are friendly and I want you to gently talk to them. Is there something else you want me to do? Yes look at the technology really closely.
Well here it is. This is a really small ship, smaller than yours. We are friendly, I assure you. Your questions will be answered soon. It does not look like there is much distress here. We were able to stabilize the systems. There is not much to see but I will do what I can. Hello, I am going to do quick examinations on all of you three. We will do scans and draw some blood and Heather will do the same thing with a couple of us. Go right ahead. I think you will find we are in perfect health. I would also like to draw some blood to compare yours with ours. Heather will sample mine. Okay I will go first. Is drawing blood really necessary? Ah. Derek we have to make it look good. Besides, I need samples from us to compare with theirs.
Captain Stone, I am having my technicians upgrade your systems. You would not be able to go past 0.05 times the speed of light if I did not. It is because of the temporal waves. I see. You call them technicians. I am not sure I understand. I thought they were cadets. I am going to have to ask you to trust me. They are technicians. Okay well it seems I have little choice. How long before we start to Mars? As soon as the upgrades are finished. If you will excuse me it seems two of your crew would like to speak with you. Matt, they are humans. Everything matches, but their capabilities are greater than ours. What does that mean? Are they from Earth or not? No I don't believe so. These girls seem to be superior to us in many ways. What did the DNA testing reveal? There are a few genes that are not in our database. Other than that they are normal. Derek what do you have to say? Captain they have advanced knowledge of our systems. I have never seen anything like it. I think we are going to have a seriously better ship when they are done. Alright carry on. Prepare a briefing for me on Mars Station. Captain's Log. The strangers are upgrading our systems and we have accepted them into our family. I feel I am growing increasingly impatient because I want to get to Mars but the Admiral is holding us here. No one seriously believes that these strangers are from Earth but there is no real way to disprove it. All we can do is wait for the Admiral to make the next move.
Captain Stone, it is time for us to part ways. It has been a pleasure to work with you. Where will you go? That ship is not designed for interstellar travel you know, and it is not designed to sustain a crew for a large period of time. Actually I was hoping that you will take care of my young charges for me. They will be a valuable addition to your crew. There are adequate facilities at Mars Station. You still have not been honest with us about your origins. My real name is Koleth. I posed as Julie's uncle and as an Earth Admiral to help you. We come from a planet called Cygnus B. Our ancestors were taken from Earth long ago. They were genetically enhanced. These girls are far ahead of anyone on Earth. We adopted Earth mannerisms and worked within your system to benefit the Earth. Why help us along? Is this some kind of philanthropy? Not exactly. The Earth seemed to have righted itself after all its wars and we were grooming it to be a valuable member of the Galactic Neighborhood. Then the Zorkons attacked. This is how they take over planets. They plant a device that wipes a species from history and then move in. Anger at the Zorkons is growing and they will eventually be overthrown. We were trapped on the Earth when they hit. I have modified the ship to take one person to Cygnus B. I could not leave my technicians on the Earth the way it was. So I am asking you to take good care of them. They are welcome to stay with us always. I am proud to call you my friend. 
there is a gift for you in your ship. It is called Oracle. This hologram-based device coordinates all of your knowledge base and interacts with you. It will be a valuable tool for you. Goodbye, Koloth. I wish you well. Captain to crew, the man we thought was Admiral James was actually named Koloth. He has left. The three girls he left with us are now part of the crew. Navigation, prepare to engage magnetic drive. Our next stop is Mars Station. It will take a little time because Mars is on the other side of the sun, but we will get there. Navigator, engage magnetic drive. Captain to crew. We have arrived at Mars Station. I am sure you are all aware of that as you can see it out the window. There are two habitats in orbit. One is for living quarters and one is for lounging and eating. There also is a small shuttle for going to the surface. We will be studying the surface before going down and setting up the habitats. Before leaving the ship, I want full scans of the area to make sure it is clear. Also, Koloth left us a gift which I am going to activate. He called it Oracle. This is Oracle. What is your question? Oracle can you scan the area and check for threats? Scans show no hostile aliens or threats. All Mars station systems are online and ready. Oracle off. Okay I need a team to go with me. Jake, grab weapons. We are going to take precautions until we are certain. Jake, Heather you are with me. Julie, you have the bridge. What do you think Jake? Is this impressive or what? Yes it is impressive. I just hope that some of these kids don't get too comfortable and forget the mission. Don't worry about it. Their longing for home will keep them on their toes. Come over here to the analysis area. much that many people don't know. Next we will go to the shuttle. You can leave those rifles here. I think we don't have to worry right now. milder than you have been told, and geoengineering has made the atmosphere breathable. We should be able to operate normally. This 
this area has been designated for the workers to set up the new Mars colony but of course they are gone. Rescue Earth. Matt, what are you doing? Don't you ever rest? Well, Julie, I am studying the surface photos. We need to find water and fest. I am also pondering how to make a duty roster. Duty roster? What is that all about? We will need to staff the ship, the station, and have a team on the surface too. It won't be easy even with the new cadets. Matt get some rest. I will work out a duty roster. You are pushing yourself too hard. We will all get some rest. Mars is more or less livable but it is no resort area so we will have to use the birthing habitat. Executive Officer's Log our ordeal is not over, but we are taking some time off to relax and get refreshed. You can push a person only so far. We are exhausted from all the activities and the loss of the Earth. The big challenge will be holding this group together while we search for information about our enemy. We still know comparatively little about the new crew members other than they are incredibly smart. <laughs>
Captain to crew. We are soon going to land on the surface of Mars. Our first objective is to secure a source of water. I am planning a landing in an area where there is vegetation, and vegetation means water. We don't know what we will find but it looks to me like data was withheld from the public. Jake is our astrobiologist and Gina will go with me as well. This is Julie. I have worked out a work roster. It will not be easy because there are so few of us. During the times when we have a team of three on the surface, there will be three stationed on the ship, two on the station and two off for rest. One cadet wearing command gold will oversee operations in orbit while the team operates on the surface. It is the captain's intention to rotate duties so that every person can get experience. It is our plan to set up one or more settlements as well. The robots will set up shelters in which the team will stay. Jake I want you to take as much analytical equipment with us as you have. We need to understand some things about the biology of Mars. This will be both exciting and dangerous so we will need weapons. If trouble arrives we will turn tail and run. Understood. I will start getting everything together. So this is Mars. This is astonishing. Grasses, ground cover. I never thought there was this much life here. Jake starts searching for water. I and Gina will take a good look through the field. You act like you are surprised. Aren't your governments honest with you? Or maybe you have not explored Mars before. We had a settlement on Mars before but because of political strains it was removed. We knew there was life here, but governments have never been especially forthcoming with details.
Incoming subspace signal. Incoming message. The message is from Earth. Missy, are you sure? Check your equipment. Julie, I already have. It is a distress call from the surface, a private transmitter registered to a Professor Starnes. He is asking for a rescue. It is repeating. Okay, contact the captain. I need to speak to him. Captain, we are getting a message from the ship. All right, we will head back to the shuttle. What is it, Julie? Is there an emergency? Matt, there is a distress call coming from Earth in an area near what used to be called Lake Ontario. It is a call from an academy instructor, Professor Starnes. Assemble a team of three to take the ship to Earth. We are shorthanded and that is all we can spare. I will try to finish up here. This is Julie James. The following personnel have been selected to return to Earth to investigate a distress call that we are receiving. Sally Jenna to treat any casualties, Alicia Sharp to deal with scientific issues and Jill Lass to command the mission. You will take the ship to Earth with the expectation that you will be rescuing one or more people. You will not be able to stay long so you will have to work quickly to evacuate any casualties. I am a little surprised that I will be commanding a mission. Do they trust us Cygnus two girls with the ship? We all will have to take difficult missions from time to time. I see your point. I will go get Alicia. There will be a mission briefing at 1300 hours. Everyone assume your positions. I want Sally on the science station and Alicia at tactical. I am engaging magnetic drive. We three will be going to the Earth. Alicia will rig up devices that can protect us from temporal waves for a time. Sally is the most vulnerable since she is from Earth. I don't honestly know how much we from Cygnus B would be affected. We could not stay on Earth because we would have no homes and wild beasts would be everywhere. The distress call appears to come from a Professor Starnes who lives near what used to be called Lake Ontario. It is an automated signal. If it turns out that there is no one there then we will return immediately. There is danger inherent in this mission so we all need to be at our best. Don't worry Derek. You will get your chance on a mission. We all will. It is okay. I will work on the station systems. It just seems like we are so vulnerable here on the station with no ships. One thing we can do to pass the time is to study some of the surface photos. Captain's Log. We continue to be amazed at the plant life we are seeing here. The fact that this was withheld from the public is basically criminal. Captain Jake found an unusual rock. It looks like it is laden with fossils. Okay everyone back to the ship. It is not supposed to storm here but that does not stop it.
almost time for duty shift. Wake up. Okay, five minutes. Better wake Heather too. on its way to Earth. Captain's log we have arrived at the site of the distress signal and have found to our surprise a farm, surrounded by an electrified fence. This should not be here. Well how nice. Visitors landing in my front lawn no less. Just how did you manage this? Professor Starnes we came in answer to your distress call. Did I leave that running? After the Holocaust I never expected to see another human being. Aren't you girls a little young to be flying around in a spaceship by yourselves? And how is it that you did not dissolve with everyone else? Let me guess, you are from Arcturus. And you must be from Cygnus B. Two of us are. The third girl is remaining with the ship. She is from Earth? How is it that you did not dissolve anyway? Come inside if you wish as my guests. We have much to discuss. The Discovery had her temporal shields up and they saved her from the temporal waves. These kids were on a training mission and no adults were available. I do have the means to get out of here if you will help me. I have a shuttle and an old fighter. The shuttle has a glitch with its engines. Our bigger problem is that the Zorkons have placed another device close to here. It is rewriting DNA to suit them. It needs to be stopped much sooner than the time device. They can only deploy one to a planet. Blow it up and I will fake a message to the Zorkons telling them it was successful. Oh and there is a nasty enemy fighter to deal with before you can destroy that. My old fighter can't do it on its own. What do you propose? Once you fix the engines on my shuttle, I will take you to a small clearing. From there you will have to go up to it and enter, go down and place charges that can be detonated remotely. Then you need to take on the fighter, destroy it, and blow up the surface portion and the underground area. I will use my fighter to add firepower. Alright I will talk it over with the others. I need a few minutes. Oracle on. I need all available information on Professor Zach Starnes at the Academy. This is Oracle. Professor Zach Starnes is a biologist at Space Fleet Academy, current status unknown. Age 75. He was recently diagnosed with a fatal illness possibly of outer space origin. No photo is available. Oracle off. Sally have you been scanning the area? Yes I have. There is an alien device not far from here, and an energy signature of another spacecraft besides the ones we see here. 
the device is rewriting DNA and changing the indigenous life forms. If nothing is done, the genome will be rewritten for most species in a month. It looks like we have no choice. We launch ground attack as soon as the professor's shuttle is ready. Mars Station to Discovery we request mission status. This is Mars Station. Request mission status. Keep trying Missy. I expect that the temporal waves are interfering but we have to try. I hope that is the case, given the distance between us plus response time it will take about 2 minutes round trip time even if we are able to raise them. Alright keep me informed. They will soon be facing away from us for 12 hours so after that it will be pointless to try. Executive Officer's Log We are adjusting to life on the station. Because of the temporal waves or another problem we are unable to contact Discovery. We don't know if they have landed safely and all we can do is sweat it out. On the surface of Mars, the captain has found more life than we ever expected.
Well now that the storm is over, let's see what Jake has to offer. Captain here is a rock that has clear fossils. I would say that life on Mars is not exactly recent. Hello Earth visitors. We have been expecting you. My name is Zeely. The Martian government requests you presence in our underground shelter. You are honored guests. We are aware of what the Zorkons did to the Earth. We can at least give you some history on our war with them.